once you've had a chance to consider which online courses you'd like to take and you've established your net ID and password, you can come back to the registration page and go to the next step. Step two is an easy one because it's just about making sure you're active in the computer. And as a new student, you are active automatically. So you don't really need to worry about step two this particular time. Step three is where we actually go into the registration system. You can see there's a link right here that you click on to enter the registration system. From this point, you would click on Student and Faculty Self-Service. You would click on University of Illinois at Springfield. This is a product that all three campuses use, so you'll have to pick your campus. And here is where you're going to input the net ID and the password that you've just established. And you can see it brought up my name, so I know that I've, I've signed in correctly. The first thing you're going to do every semester when it comes to registration is to check your time ticket. The time ticket is the earliest possible day and time that you can register for classes. And you will have priority in registration. So the closer you are to graduation, the earlier that time ticket is going to be. So it's very important to check your time ticket early and to register as close to that time as possible because that's your head start on everyone else. As new students, for example, you're a week behind everyone else because you have the lowest priority. But the next time you come to register, you're going to have a week ahead of the new students, you're going to be ahead of the freshmen, ahead of the sophomores, and you're going to have a chance to get into classes that you might not normally be able to get into as long as you register early. So to check your time ticket, click Registration and Records, followed by Registration, followed by Registration Eligibility. You're going to pick the semester in which you're going to register. And you'll see your time ticket here. Now, I, this is me, and I'm not actually a student at this point, so you can see that I have no time ticket. Where this message tells me that I have no time ticket, you will actually see the day and the time that you're allowed to register. So mark that down. Once you have that, you can always look down at the very bottom of the screen, and you can see Add Drop Classes. So that's a way to jump right into the process. If not, we can jump back to registration. We'll click Registration, and you'll see Add Drop Class is an option below Registration Eligibility. When you go to Add Drop Classes, you will get the registration agreement. I encourage you to read this. I encourage you to click through and read the, the links that are connected here as well. You are going to agree to these before we'll let you register. So once you've had a chance to read them, you can agree to the statement. You're going to come to the Add Drop menu. At this point, because I have no registration time ticket, this looks different than what you'll see when you do this. When you see this, it will still be a very simple page, but you'll see a series of blanks right here where you can input numbers. The numbers that you input are the five-digit course reference numbers that you see on the schedule. So whenever you see a class, you'll see a five-digit number with them. Jot that number down if you want to register. When you get to this screen, you'll put that number in the blanks. There'll be multiple blanks. You can put multiple numbers in. When you're done, hit Submit, and if everything goes correctly, you'll see your schedule pop up. Now, everything doesn't always go correctly, so there may be a problem with the, what you've tried to register in. If there is a problem with registration, instead of seeing that class added to your schedule, there's going to be an error message. Write that error message down. Just tell me exactly what it is. Send me that information, and then from there, we can see if there's something we can do to help you through the process.